But, yo, I've been applying my own lace. It look old right now, but I've been doing a good job. I've been doing it. I've been doing this thing. Like, huh, this month has just been crazy. I've been doing a lot, but yeah. everyone and welcome back to my channel I know it's been so long but I need to update you guys on all of this stuff so if you're new to my channel welcome please like and subscribe we're going to talk about my move to California how I like dating out here my new travel nursing job how much I'm making um, my new apartment oh my god it's just so much to catch you guys up on I'm in my apartment right now but I don't want to show you guys everything because it's not finished yet um, and I do have work tonight. So I did pick up a new contract in LA, um, doing med surge and a hospital bedside. Of course, that's not what I wanna do. But um, let me just talk to you guys about why I moved to LA. So as you know, or if you don't know, cause you're not a subscriber, I do Botox and fillers, basically aesthetic nursing. And my goal is to open up my own studio in Jackson. So I'm working on that right now trying to get me a studio in LA and as you guys know LA is really expensive much more expensive than a lot of other cities in the country especially moving from Atlanta so my apartment that I moved into is like way smaller for double the price but it's because of the area I'm in and it's still a nice apartment it just has no amenities and stuff but back to this uh travel job that I picked up so I am doing a contract and a contract is for like four months and it's crisis pay. So they are paying pretty good. I'm still getting a travel nurse rate um, because I don't have a California license yet. Um, so I'm working under like an emergency license, but uh, even though I moved here, I'm still getting a travel nurse rate because when I took the job, I was still living in Atlanta. So right now I'm doing med search, working locally, cause this will be my local travel assignment, even though it's counted as a travel assignment whatever, um, without taxes. So without taxes, I'm making $47.50 a week. And I actually enjoy the job. Like people in LA are really, really helpful. Like um, usually you might be a travel nurse and you go to a hospital and they don't really wanna help you or they give you like horrible patient to nurse radio ratio. Um, the ratio here in California is four to one nurse. But like I have had on the shift here so far five patients because we were like extremely short. But like the charge nurses here are very, very helpful. Like the charge nurses here, they're just like, who needs help, who needs help, who needs help? They're working around the clock. They're not like just being lazy, sitting down all day. Like it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of help at this specific hospital. I'm not gonna tell you guys the exact hospital yet. Um, because I'm still working here until February. If y'all ask me in the comments after February, I'll tell you guys the hospital and the agency that I really enjoyed. Um, I need to run to the market, but let's talk about me moving to LA. Like, I really like it here. Um, so Dayton has been okay so far. Uh, I'm talking to some people, but men are men wherever you go. I need to try women because if I like girls, I would really try girls because I'm just so over dating. But, um, I mean, I feel like dating here is, it's a lot of attractive people here. It's a lot of attractive men here. Um, I feel like dating is like, it's been going better than Atlanta and I've only been here for like three weeks. So, I do like that aspect. And it's a lot of fine men, like I said, who are like professionals. Um, I don't discriminate, so it's a lot of it's fine Hispanic men here. Here's Gigi. She hasn't been in a lot of videos because um, when I first got her, I had a travel nurse assignment for six months, so I had my mom watching her. But I'm gonna show you guys around because I'm about to drive to the market, and um, we're gonna talk more about this LA lifestyle. This is what I'm wearing, just some tights, a headband, a crop hoodie. I was trying to call my friend back because she called me and I missed it. Um, here's the dog whining because she wants to come with me. And I have on my fuzzy slippers for the house because as y'all can see, this floor picks up footprints so easily. So now I have to re-steam mop the floor. Um, 
especially with the dog. I have to wipe the dog's paw every time I come in, but apartment tour coming soon. Moving to LA. So moving to LA was extremely difficult. I was freaking homeless for three weeks. In those three weeks, I was, I had went to Philly for a week. I had stayed at a friend's house and I had stayed at a hotel. Um, because what had happened is I had found an apartment I really, really, really like in downtown LA, but it was $3,700 a month, y'all. And I was gonna do my studio out of there because it was like a one bedroom and a den. But everybody was like, oh, LA, I mean, downtown LA is just like not safe and it's dirty and it's too much traffic. So I started looking at other areas. So then I had found a, um, apartment that I really like the Marina Del Rey and if you're not familiar with California it's like a beach part of California it's a really nice area it actually reminds me of Miami because it's like tall blue glass buildings it's pretty right near the beach well right now near like the water it's not really a beach over there but it's like water over there um but when I went to see the apartment I liked the actual unit but I didn't like the apartment building it was it was given to free spirit and you know, I, I can't really get, that's not really my style. I like nice, clean, crisp, like luxury type of stuff. And that was a little, yeah, it was a little too like free spirit, graffiti on the wall type of vibe. Um, so I didn't want to go with that. So I got my money back from there. And then I finally found this place, but they had told me that I couldn't move in until October 1st. Mind y'all, I moved out of my Atlanta apartment September 1st. So. I was actually kind of homeless for a month. However, this apartment that I'm in now, they let me store my stuff in uh, a week before moving date. So it was like, I was kind of homeless, but my stuff had somewhere to be stored. Also, I shipped all my furniture with Pods Moving Company, which was pretty expensive as well. It was about like $2,000. And I shipped my car with a car shipping company. That was only like $900, that wasn't that much. And I packed my car up with some stuff as well. And then I just took a flight here. Now so, that I'm here, let's talk about the things that I really, really like about LA. So I love the weather. I love that, um, I feel like I get seasonal depression. And here it's sunny most of the time, so like, no more depression. For some reason, the past year in Atlanta, it's been very, very rainy. And when I lived in Atlanta from 2012 to 2016, it did not used to be that rainy. Like, it rains there like every week now. And for a lonely girl like me, that's not okay, okay? I love that um, the food out here, oh my God, y'all, the food is so freaking good out here. Like, they have all different types of food because it's like a very diverse city. And like, everywhere I've been going, like for the most part, the food has been really, really good. Um, I love this place called Emporium Thai. Oh my God, it's so good. I love going to, um, what's this? It's this other restaurant I always go to. Uh, whatever, I forget the name. And they have a lot of nice upscale restaurants and a lot of authentic Mexican restaurants. So I love Mexican. I just, the food here has just been really, really good. I haven't been here that long, but I can definitely feel the vibe of me liking it. I feel like I just kind of fit in here. And I always felt like Miss understood if that makes sense like I don't know like I I don't feel like I really fit in in Atlanta like I don't know like people like me because I'm cute and I'm I'm very personable but like I'm never I'm not big on partying like I go to a party sometimes but like it's just not my thing and that's like big in the Atlanta scene and it's just kind of like if you don't want to do that then you're kind of just boring but I like that it's a lot of things to do in LA that doesn't involve going to the club. Like, it's so many things that you can do here. How do you say recycle? Recycle fool. Anyways, so I just got to the market and Gigi is gonna start crying and whimpering like she always does. I have my bag for the environment so I don't have to pay 10 cents um, to buy bags because all of the stores are doing that now. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to strap Gigi in because she's not going with me in the supermarket. It's gonna be a quick run, so it'll probably take me 10 minutes, so I'll roll down the windows a little bit for her. And she's probably gonna have a fit. But, yo, I've been applying my own lace. It look old right now, but I've been doing a good job. I've been doing it. I've been doing this thing. Like, huh, this month has just been crazy. I've been doing a lot, but yeah. Okay, so I'm in the market grocery shopping. So far, I got the food that I said I'm gonna get. I just need to pick up some fish. Mm. Okay, guys, so I'm just getting in, and my scarf is so loose. Um, here is my bag of groceries, and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. I'm not gonna show you guys the apartment, but this is the kitchen so far. Um, I got these really, really, really cute cotton pan sets from Marshalls. I got four pieces for $80. But I'm gonna put these groceries away. Comment below what you want my next video to be. I was thinking about doing my skincare routine because I went from bumpy to clear. And I do suffer from hormonal acne, so I would like to help other people clear up their acne. Um, another video I'm gonna do is my six month post-stop uh, video on talking about my experience with the surgery, the massages, and an update. And then I'm gonna do an apartment tour. So stay tuned, y'all. Be patient with me. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll talk to y'all soon.